Hello, I'm Ninian Lang. I'm Professor of Cardiology and Cardio-Oncology from the University of Glasgow in Scotland. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be talking about the management of hypertension in patients with cancer. This is an arguably overlooked, uh, somewhat Cinderella aspect of cardiovascular care of patients with cancer, but also arguably one of the most important things, the most uh, easy, low-resource uh, interventions we can make to improve the short and medium and long-term outcomes for those patients. Cardiovascular disease is highly prevalent in the general population and probably more so in patients with cancer. If we get this right at the beginning, and we screen for patients with cancer and treat them well, not only can we help them have a better long-term outcome, but also ideally to be able to keep them on optimal cancer therapy during treatment. Good cancer, good cancer care and use of antihypertensives is essential in all angles and aspects of uh, cancer care, but particularly in patients exposed to potentially cardiotoxic cancer therapies. Patients who uh, are going to receive anthracyclines have a substantially increased risk of um, left ventricular dysfunction and heart failure if, uh, uh, if hypertension isn't controlled at baseline. Of course, there's a huge range of drugs now that have hypertension as a specific side effect, and I'm going to go into a bit more detail about those patients tomorrow in my talk. These patients, um, particularly those receiving VEGF tyrosine kinase inhibitors, have some often substantial rapid rises in blood pressure that should be predictable. And with home blood pressure monitoring and an empowerment of the patient with standardized protocols for management of blood pressure in, those, in that group, hopefully we can achieve the dual outcome of keeping patients on good cancer therapy and minimizing the cardiovascular risks. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.